Greetings, Harmony School of Endeavor, class of 2020. My name is Brandon Garcia. I'm the Central Texas Director of Advocacy and Outreach of the Texas Public Charter Schools Association, uh, and I'm so happy to be with you, with you here today uh, addressing you. I jumped at the chance. I love being able to engage with young people at these huge moments of, of their life. Thank you for letting me be part of it, and congratulations. Um, today is going to be one of the most exciting days of your life, but I also recognize it might be one of the strangest days and scariest even. Uh, the world is a lot different today than it was just even at the start of the school semester uh, and much much different than when I graduated from high school almost 20 years ago. Uh, today we're all facing a uh, major worldwide pandemic, the first one since the First World War over 100 years ago. Our unemployment numbers are reflective of a time long ago in the Great Depression and the civic unrest that we're seeing today on the streets across multiple major cities in the United States are unlike anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. I recall the 1990s riots, the race riots in, in Los Angeles with, in response to the police brutality of Rodney King, but I've never really witnessed anything to this magnitude. Um, so I understand that it might seem a little stormy and choppy right now to be coming of age and to be graduating in an era like this in human history. Uh, but know this, that you are not alone in this storm that there are other generations with you um, holding fast on the boat, um, bracing, waiting to ride the storm out with you. Uh, because that's the very nature of a storm, is that it passes. And uh, the coronavirus will pass, economic prosperity will come back to our country, and there will be peace on our streets again. Hopefully in a way that's much more socially and racially just uh, than they are today, and more in the way that Dr. King recognized when he talked about his dream during the Civil Rights Movement. But until that time, we have a lot of work to do, or you have a lot of work to do. Uh, now is your moment in history to write your story about what your kids will read about, what your grandkids, what you're gonna tell them, about how you responded to this moment in history during uh, the crisis that's happening now. So, it's a very exciting time, but it's a very scary time too. So now is the moment to be courageous. I wanna to speak to you today a little bit about courage. Courage is a very interesting virtue. Uh, it's a very ironic virtue because it actually has to, you actually have to be afraid first before you can be courageous. Courage doesn't exist without fear. And another thing about courage is that you can't just study it or talk about it or see it on TV and you, you get it, you know, you, you possess it. You actually have to practice it. You actually have to have a moment come across where you're afraid. You have to jump through that moment and face your fear, and then that's how you become courageous. Now, when times are really good and there's nothing to be scared of, those moments are far and, and you know, few in between. Uh, and a lot of us pass those moments up. Uh, we don't recognize them, or we're too scared. We hang back. We just it just doesn't happen, right? But in moments or in times where things are really tough and hard, like today, like today's crisis, everything that's going on around you, there are tons of moments, there are tons of opportunities to practice courage. And just think about this, so in, a, in a moment where the world is on top of its head, everyone's scrambling around, figuring out what to do, everyone's scared. Now is your moment to be courageous. Or in a time where we are seeing and hearing about uh, racial injustice on every street corner in America and police, police brutality. Now is your moment to speak up. Or in a time where we're disputing facts and nobody knows even what to believe anymore. Now is your moment to pursue the truth. And in a time where people are shouting at each other and living in extreme ends of the spectrum, um, now is your moment to bring peace. Now is your moment to find the middle ground. Because if you can do that, then you get beyond courage. You start practicing what the ancients called the virtues, and there's four of them, justice, wisdom, temperance, and courage, right? We talked about courage. Courage being uh, when everyone else is afraid to, to step forward and hang back, you jump in, right? We talked about wisdom. When everyone is arguing about facts, not being afraid to continue to pursue knowledge, to learn more about yourself, learn more about the world and how to make it a better place. We talked about justice, right? Knowing what is right, seeing what's, around, what's wrong around you, and then standing up and saying no, or standing up and, and standing up to the bully, right? And we talked about temperance, right? Not living 
in the extremes in any sense, but being committed to the middle road, to moderation, to bringing back civic discord, civilized discord, to our communities and be the, being the peacemakers. Because if you can do all those things, then when this storm will pass and the sun rises again, the sun will shine that much brighter for everyone around you because of you. And the world will recognize your generation as the next greatest generation. Class of 2020, I am so proud of you. I cannot wait to see what you build, what kind of world you build. Know that we are with you. Other generations are with you during this time. And that very soon the sun will shine on all of our faces again. Know that the world is a good place and it is better because you are in it. I can't wait to see the kind of world you will build us. So, once again, class for 2020, congratulations and God bless.